Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Python beginner tutorial series, today let's discuss about few programming examples of using while loop in Python. Alright, so in our previous video, we discussed about basics of while loop, when and where to use while loop, and we saw about few basic examples as well. Okay, so to continue with that, we'll discuss about few more examples here, which will give you a better view of you know when and where to use Python. The more hands on you do, you will be most comfortable with using while loops in real time programming all right so here i will cover three basic videos of you three basic programming exercises exercise of using while loop first one is square up to n numbers okay so there will be uh, you know you can find some of you can find the squares of numbers up to n all right so if you have if i provided value as 10 you can find squares of numbers up to 10 like one square two square three square so that's what we are planning to do here and next one is sum of numbers provided in a list using while loop all right so there's a list and you want you have to find sum of all the numbers in a list using while loop all right and then finally we have something called nested while loop okay we learn this concept here in this particular example okay all we are trying to do is just print a star pattern using nested while loop all right so we'll discuss all these three one by one here all right so first we'll discuss about how to find squares up to n numbers using while loop all right so let's have n equal to 1 and we have to use a while loop right so while n less than or equal to 5 um now i am planning to find squares of numbers up to 5 all right so while n less than or equal to 5 all i'm doing is i'm just calculating the square square equal to n star star 2 right it will find the squares of numbers and finally i will print it print square and obviously i have to increment the value of n right so n plus r equal to 1 so now if i run this you can see it calculated as squares of numbers up to n up to 5 here okay one square is one two square is four three square is nine and respectively we have squares of others number other numbers as well okay so this is a very basic example that i can um, give you to make understand how while loop works all right so you can use a while loop to iterate through a sequence and you can end it as soon as the condition becomes false here as soon as the n becomes six all right so uh, the uh, value will be the condition will be failed it will come out of the loop all right so this is a very basic and easiest way to find square of n numbers up to n using while loop all right so next we'll discuss about how to find sum of values in a list using while loop okay um so as usual we need a list right so list one equal to say four comma i am creating few i am creating a list with few random numbers say 32 comma 90 comma 76 comma 21 all right so we have i have created a list called list one and i am initializing my i value to zero and i have to calculate the sum of the values right so i am declaring i am initializing sum to zero as well okay and then i have to use a while loop right so while i less than or equal to so less than length of list one okay so we have an inbuilt method called length to calculate the length of the list right so what this will do is it will go up to the end of my uh, list all right it will start from four and it will go to my end of the list okay so if you use this inbuilt length method this will do the work for you okay while i less than length of list one i am gonna calculate the sum right sum plus or equal to list one of i okay so what this will do is this is similar to sum equal to sum plus list one of i okay this is an additional assignment operator and best practice we generally use to uh write easier uh, you know write statements in an elegant and easier way but this is similar to this particular statement 
right so what it will do is uh, i equal to 0 right so sorry sum equal to 0 right first you will have sum as 0 right first we will have sum as 0 and sum 0 plus list 1 of i means it will take the first element okay the i will be 0 right the first 0th element is 4 so 4 and so this value of sum will be 4 equal to 4 plus the next element next element will be 32 so the answer value will be 36 equal to 36 plus 90 the next value all right so this way the iteration will go and finally calculate the sum okay so this is what we are trying to do here okay so we are finding the sum we are providing a sum operation here so once this is done we have to increment the loop as well right increment the while loop right i plus r equal to one okay and finally i will print the sum okay now if i run this see the sum of the numbers provided in a list is 223 if you have to confirm you can provide value 10 say it will be 233 all right so this this is very easiest and elegant way to find sum of numbers provided in a list using while loop okay so this is another way where you can use while loop okay finally as discussed we'll see about how to print star pattern using nested while loop okay so this is a little complex problem than the previous two okay the nest we already know already discussed about what is nested loops right so nested loop in the sense in the sense loop inside a loop so nested while loop means while loop inside a while loop okay you can nest all the multiple while loops inside a while loop so that so we'll see how we can use this nested while loop concept to print star pattern using python all right so let's start with declaring my i initializing my i i equal to one okay so while i less than five okay so i'm planning to print these star patterns up to four lines right so it will be so less than five means it will print four lines of stars so i am providing an outer while loop which will take a control of the number of lines that we are gonna print okay so while i less than five and uh, we need an inner loop to print the stars right so first we are handling um, the uh, number of lines that we want to print using the first iteration first while loop and next inside the nested while loop we are gonna uh, see how we can print the stars okay so obviously we need another iteration so we, earlier we de declared i equal to one right because it will start from first line so we'll start from one next is we want to start from zero so i'm going to declare j equal to zero so while j less than i i'm printing the star okay do not worry i will debug and show this program so that you will understand how while loop works here so i'm gonna print star comma end equal to hang and we have to increment the j j equal to j plus one right now we want to call the print method and just uh, we'll just call the print method and finally we'll increment the i loop i equal to i plus one okay so if i run this you can see it printed star pattern for me four times if i increment the value to six it will print six times sorry five times see we have five stars here okay so this is how you will um, print star pattern using nested while loop all right so i know for beginners it might be a little confusing how this actually worked okay so let me give you an overview again so this will handle the number of lines that we are gonna hand, uh, print and this is the main operation where we will print the stars okay so now i will debug this program okay let me have debug pointer in these three different points okay now i'm gonna run it 
debug let me go to the console okay so now you can see in my very first iteration i is 1 right you can see in this gray gray area okay so this this is a information that will come automatically when you try to debug in your pycharm so the gray text if you look i is 1 j is 0 right so now it it stopped at my debug pointer while this particular line now if i step over you can see the condition is j less than i right so our j is 0 i is 1 obviously yes our j is less than 0 this condition is true so it will go into this print statement see it went into this print statement so once this is done it will print the star here you can see in the console it printed a star for me here okay now i am incrementing j okay so j equal to j plus 1 next if i go to next iteration still my in nested while loop is not completed right so you, it came again here okay so while j less than or equal to less, less than i now you can see the i value is 1 and j value is again 1 so the condition is not satisfied so it, it will not go inside this while loop and print star it will come out you can see it will not go inside now you can see this blue line will not go into our print statement it will come to this print method you can see it came out of that particular while loop okay now if i run over uh, it will uh, come to the outer loop so the nest the, our outer while loop and it will increment the value of i now it came to our while loop i less than 6 the main loop okay now you, if you look at it the value of i the i is incremented now so initially i was 1 now the i is a value of i equal to 2 now it will come here next once it comes to the while loop you can verify j less than or i so 1 is less than 2 so the con it will it will go into our okay so the, the value of j is 0 the value of i is 2 yes the condition is satisfied it will go into this print statement you can see it went into the print statement now it will come again it will increment the j value now the value of j is 1 and the value of i is 2 all right so the obviously the condition is satisfied so i am printing star again so once i move this it printed star twice for me you can see okay so based on our condition it is trying to print the stars now if i step over it will move out of the loop so now i and 2 j are same 2 and 2 right so it will obviously the while condition is not satisfied so it will come out of the loop okay so this way you can debug the program and see what happens at each line okay now i place the debug pointer at three different lines here you can place at different points too like you can place it here here and see what happens at each and every line okay this way you will understand the loop concept very well and you can master any programming all right so i would suggest you to try these three program as hands on so that you will be much more confident about how to use while loops in real time and uh, if you have any questions regarding while loops and how to and if you have um, you know if you have any other questions please let me know in the comment section I will try to answer it as, as soon as possible. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow my channel. Thank you.